How's it going guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be checking out how we can get Espeon and Umbreon in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. First things first, we will need to get ourselves a couple of Eevees to evolve into Umbreon and Espeon. To get Eevee, we will first need to unlock the National Pokedex. Once we have the National Pokedex, we want to go to BB's house in Heart Home City, which is right next to the Poke Center, and she will just give us a free Eevee. It doesn't really matter if it's male or female, as either one can breathe with Ditto back at the daycare center, so you can make as many eggs as you like. So once you've got yourself a couple of Eevees, you're probably wondering how do you evolve it into Espeon and Umbreon? Well, they actually both evolve in the exact same method. All we need to do is raise Eevee's friendship level up to 220. If it's the same method to get both Umbreon and Espeon, what makes them evolve into each? The factor that decides this is going to be whether it is daytime or nighttime. If Eevee evolves during the daytime, it will turn into Espeon. However, if the Eevee evolves in the nighttime, it will evolve into Umbreon. Just so you're aware, nighttime in this game starts at 8pm and ends at 4am. So any of the time between there, it will evolve into Umbreon. It's fairly easy to raise the friendship levels of your Pokemon as long as you know what you're doing. The first and most important thing that we need when it comes to increasing the friendship levels of a Pokemon is the Soothe Bell. This can be obtained inside the mansion in Route 212. If we speak to the NPC shown here in the gameplay, she will just give us the Soothe Bell, and with this item equipped onto any of our Pokemon, that Pokemon will receive double friendship points every time he gets one. So this literally reduces the time in half it'll take to get to the max friendship level. So there are many factors that influence the friendship levels of our Pokemon. First of all, make sure your Pokemon is following you around and here's the first one in the team. It, this way, each 256 steps will increase your friendship level by one. Well, in this case, it'll increase it by two as we have the Soothe Bell on and it will be doubling every point we get. Which isn't exactly the fastest method, but it's good to always have going on in the background just to always be increasing our friendship level a little bit at a time. Now, the quickest way to level up friendship in this game is feeding our Pokemon friendship raisin berries as well as the vitamins. Now, the main difference between using berries and vitamins is that berries decrease specific stats of our Pokemon as we increase our friendship. As where the vitamins, like the protein, calcium, zinc, and all of that good stuff, increase the stats of our Pokemon. Now, don't get me wrong, decreasing our stats on purpose can be good if we want to go for a specific EV route while leveling up. But in most cases, if you're just a regular player, you're probably going to prefer to use the vitamins, even though they're a bit more on the expensive side, we don't decrease our stats. So we can feed our Pokemon a few of these just to speed up the process and make our Pokemon more friendly without taking us long. So a few other things that we can do to help our friendship level. In Veilstone City, there's actually a Pokemon Masu which you can take your Pokemon to, get a free massage, and increase your friendship points by three, which isn't a huge amount, but it does help a little bit. And now the main standard way of increasing our friendship on our Pokemon is actually just by leveling up. For every time we level up, we'll actually gain a decent amount of friendship points towards that Pokemon, as long as that Pokemon isn't dying. And luckily for us, if we are breeding Eevees, when a Pokemon comes out of an egg, not only does it start with higher friendship level, but it also starts on level one which means we get the chance to increase many levels really quickly and get a bunch of free friendship points. So what you can do is simply go to the highest level area you have access to, switch out your level 1 Eevee as soon as the fight starts onto something more powerful, defeat the enemy and then just bask in the glory of all that free XP you get in. Our Eevee evolved into Espeon literally on the first fight we did this way. It's pretty much real time what you're seeing here on the video. There was no extra friendship points obtained outside any of the clips you're seeing right here, so it's really, really quick if you know what you're doing. So I hope you did find this video helpful guys. If you did, don't forget that thumbs up button and subscribe for more content coming very soon and we'll see you next time.